And watching it back, um, they were very clinical. You know, there was probably a 90% completion rate throughout the game, and we won. <laughs> we won bad as well. We was up the 80, 82, um, but we just didn't have enough sets. You know, you you average about 40 sets a game. I think we was at 25, and they were around about 37. So we had they had a lot more ball than what we did, and and, and I thought it was very clinical. You know, whenever we missed, um, they punished us. They they they. they and, and towards the back end of the game, um, probably a little bit mentally weak from us, and, and, and ran in a couple of soft tries, uh, which is disappointing. Which is very disappointing. Um, but there were periods of the game we were we were there and thereabouts. So especially that first half, I thought the try just before half time killed us, uh, and just after, um, I thought they were the breaking points for us uh, in the game. Certainly, um, because if you're being clinical, you're putting points on the board. It's something that we've struggled in in, in previous in, in weeks uh, gone by at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely an area that we want to improve in. He did. Yeah, well, he's probably going to be missing for a couple of weeks. Um, uh, Probably well, three weeks. Um, looking to miss him with a hamstring, um, and as far as I know, the rest of the boys have got through through okay. He's never a good thing when you've got some big middles like we have. Um, but again, it's game management, um, and I thought we managed the game really well. We was putting it out, um, walking to scrums, uh, but probably didn't back it up with, with, with defensively. You know, we, we spoke about walk to the scrum, uh, energize, ju juice up, and and be be a bit more ruthless in D and we just wasn't that we, we allowed them to roll us down the field and and those putting good ball kicks in and, and, and putting us in a pocket or in a corner uh, and, and and we was kicking out of our 40 uh, so again there was just winning that field position battle um, throughout the game and, and it probably took its toll on us they're competitive you know they start games really well and and I think that's the key if we start well and um, we knock off our sets and, and and again if it is going to be a hot day and take some juice out of them um, then hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll come out on top. If we don't and we gift them field position and, and, and plenty of balls, it'll be a tough day. It'll be a really tough day. <laughs> Certainly, you always like to play against your old club and you always put in a performance. Um, so yeah, we, we'll be aware of that. And again, it's all it's on us, on our performance and how we go about the game and make sure that we're ready to go and um, we've done everything we can to in preparation for the game. Being not, not disrespectful to Hemel, you know, it's a game that we should win. Um, I think everybody knows that. So. Um, it's probably one of them for us to get back on the horse and into winning ways and, um, and and leading into the York game because you know what I mean. We're going to have to be at our best to, to, to get a result against them because they're in great form. They're just like Bradford. Uh, they're putting points on teams. They're being very clinical in what they do. So yeah, we're, we're going to sort of probably a build up to that York game.